Hey my beautiful chicas, I hope you guys are doing amazing today. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys some tips and advice on what you guys should know before you guys start dating again as a single parent or as a single grandma. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wanna know what are my few tips? Then keep on watching. A slide over, slide over. Number one thing that you need to know before you start dating again, and this is very important, is to make sure you are healed from your past relationship especially if you're coming from a toxic relationship or a relationship that you've been in for years it's kind of hard to just you know move on all of a sudden in a rush to just date someone just to like get the pain away or to forget about the person you know this has to be something that you truly want especially when you have kids you don't want to keep bringing new partners into their life or into your life because that just hurts you and that doesn't really help you heal don't rush into things just take your time girl take your time okay the second thing is that you have to manifest who you want to, to attract into your life okay for example if you're looking for a guy you want to manifest him as, you know, I want a hardworking guy, a um, someone who can understand me, someone who's not afraid to show affection, someone who's going to accept me with my kids, someone who's going to love me and my kids. You know, you have to manifest that every single because you want to attract those type of men into your life because the more you think about what you don't want, is the number one thing that comes because you're manifesting you're manifesting all the guys that you don't want in your life or the the ones that are not your type and those are the ones who are gonna come and come because that's what you're manifesting another thing is be honest with yourself and with that other person always mention that you have kids and your relationship with your ex it is always important to mention that that's what i did with my new relationship you know i let him know that i had kids that i was a single mom um the type of relationship that me and my ex carried and so he could feel more comfortable you know talking to you because i had guys who would try to talk to me and they would tell me they have kids you know and then when i would ask him about you know their relate his relationship with his ex he would be like oh yeah we don't talk and then the more i started talking to him it turns out that they do talk and that she's very toxic that she doesn't want nobody else um dating him or seeing or being around his her kids and it wasn't even because she was worried about who was around his her kids it was mostly because she was like jealous she still had feelings for him so she tried to make his life miserable you know what i mean so always make it clear and don't lie please because if that person is really interested in you you're just gonna blow them away if they find out on their own that you guys are still talking or that he's a jealous ex-boyfriend don't hide your kids because i know some they don't like deny having kids but they don't bring them up and it's been like three months into their of them talking and then they're like oh yeah and i have kids and then maybe that person doesn't want kids or doesn't want step kids or it's not ready for that type of commitment so always make sure that you are very honest and straightforward with that other person tell them you know what you're looking for like i said the relationship you carry with your ex because of the kids because obviously you guys are going to co-parent so they could feel more comfortable coming in into into your life into your kids life next question a lot of single parents ask themselves even i ask myself when is the right time for that person to meet your kids and this really does depend on you guys when you guys feel comfortable if you feel like this person is the right one obviously you're not going to introduce your kids right away because you still haven't really met the person and like i said in the beginning you don't want to bring um, new people into their lives because it'll just get them confused so i would say take about a few months to really get to know that person you know you meet his family that they're aware that you have kids because you're not the only one going into this relationship you're also bringing your kids into it too 
and your family. And this tip that I'm about to give next is mostly going towards those single parents who have teenagers already. Let's face it, some teenagers can be a little bit hard to deal with, especially when you're trying to date again. Um, they're not going to like it. They're going to give you a hard time. They're going to reject your partner because they're not the real dad or the real mom. My advice is before you even think about dating or even start seeing people or going on dates, it's very important for you to sit down and talk to your children, see if they're okay with you dating again. Talking to your kids, it makes them feel like they have a voice and it makes them feel like they're going to be part of that relationship. Don't be afraid to redate again. Don't feel bad that you're redating. Don't feel like you're going to get judged because, I mean, at this point, everyone judges everyone. Never be considered a bad thing. Like I said, it's not about dating men after men after men. Nothing like that. You know, it's about finding your perfect fit for your family. So I hope this video helped you guys a little bit on your decision of redating or if you had any like doubts. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, if you guys want to hear my story, please like this video and I will be doing a separate video on how everything went down for me. If you want to leave your stories, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. Show some love to my channel by liking this video subscribe to my channel for more story times or more tips thank you guys so much for watching until next time bye guys